The Texas State Teachers Association announced this morning they want the governor to call a special session to fund state education. Kate Weidel joining us live from the state capitol with more. Hi, Kate. Hey, good afternoon, Sally. Well, the Texas State Teachers Association wants the governor to appropriate $2.5 billion from the Rainy Day Fund to fund public education. Now, this morning, the association reported that as a result of the legislature slashing $5.4 billion from public education, an estimated 32,000 employees, including 12,000 teachers, have lost their jobs. This has resulted, they say, in more than 8,200 elementary school classes being larger than the cap set by the state. Representative Donna Howard said that using the rainy day fund would be appropriate because it has grown significantly since the session ended due to an increase in sales tax revenue, which she says is a direct tie to the economy getting better. The association president says because this is taxpayer money in the rainy day fund, it should be used on those who need it most. Right now, there is no good reason to make our children and our educators pay the price of another round of cuts while we wait. The money is in the bank, and it's time to put it to work in our classrooms and stop the cuts now. Well, the group is trying to collect signatures on a petition to give to the governor to try to call that special session. But Representative Howard says it really is going to take more than that petition. And really, educators and parents from across the state calling on lawmakers and the governor to call a special session because ultimately it is only the governor who can call that. We are live at the state capitol. Kate Wydaw, KXAN News.